In the next few months, Burundi will enter an election period, a major political challenge to peace consolidation. It is crucial in this context that people go to the polls in great numbers. The 15th article of the new 2009 Electoral Code stipulates that the National Identity Card, NIC, is a basic document required to participate in the elections. Sur le plan euh, politique, la carte nationale d'identité, c'est un instrument important de participation politique, dans ce sens qu'elle elle permet à l'individu de, de s'enrôler sur, euh, de s'enrôler en tant qu'électeur. But in Burundi, poverty affects over 70% of the population. For women, representing 51% of the population, and vulnerable groups who are often marginalized from political decision-making, acquiring an NIC is not a priority. In the collines, the majority of the people, especially the women, had not the money to go to search to pay the national identity card, which costs 500 francs, without measuring the price of the photo. In this context, the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and the United Nations Integrated Office in Burundi responded to the government request by launching a campaign in which one million national identity cards were fully funded. From December 21, 2009 to January 22, 2010, across all 129 communes, Thousands of people rushed to get their cards for free. The ability to request and receive an NIC in a single day, supported by UNDP and its partners, the Swiss Embassy and the Gender Thematic Trust Fund, could only be achieved through the implementation of a large logistical operation. The défi dans ce projet était notamment d'acheter des équipements adaptés au contexte et à l'environnement du Burundi. C'était aussi de recruter du personnel adapté, notamment les dactylographes, euh, qui devaient respecter un certain nombre de qualités, notamment la vitesse, pour toujours le souci de respecter les délais de délivrance. Et pour les autres euh, catégories de personnel, notamment les rapporteurs et euh, les photographes, nous avons recruté une agence d'intérim. In total, almost 4,000 people were mobilized for one month. 1,032 worked directly in communal offices, or eight per site, and 2,908 in collines and quarters. Between recruitment, salaries, and training, nearly $300,000 were invested, and more than $550,000 in equipment, office supplies, more than 3 million administrative documents, technical equipment. All communes were equipped with cameras endowed with an instantaneous printing system, tailored to specific localities, often without electricity. In only one month, performance has been outstanding. More than 950,000 cards have been issued, an average of 42,000 cards per day. C'est que on devait travailler de 7 heures et demie à 18 heures même, alors qu'on était habitué à travailler de 7 heures et demie à 15 heures et demie. The monitoring of information collected through the NIC request stubs and the signature logbook has provided a detailed profile of the beneficiaries. The project has been successful at mobilizing women, who received 58% of all cards issued. Remember that the 2005 quota requiring a 30% minimum participation of women in government applies now to the level of communal councils. Les femmes étaient quand même encore euh, un peu en retrait et avaient besoin d'être appuyées pour que leur participation soit renforcée, leur participation politique.
The publicity surrounding the issuance of the NIC generated awareness and strengthened civic pride, multiplying demand. In order to sustain the process, the material provided to the communes will be handed over to them to continue processing further applicants. The public's enthusiasm and the success of this campaign already indicate a strong momentum towards extensive voter registration.